When 9-11 happened, all air traffic was grounded. It was a perfect opportunity to see what impact, if any, the exhaust from thousands of planes flying at any one time was having on air quality, CO2 levels, or global warming measurements. Now scientists have another, more perfect opportunity to do the same test with this pandemic shutting nearly everything down. COVID-19 literally stopped the world from driving, flying, or working, not to mention socializing in any way. Oil prices went to zero. This resulted in man-made CO2 levels falling to levels not seen in decades. The amount of man-made CO2 levels reached far below any levels targeted by the Paris or the Kyoto Climate Change Accord, of which the United Nations was trying to dump on the world. These reduced levels are impossible to maintain as we return to normal. The fact is these reductions in man-made greenhouse gas emissions had no measurable effect on the climate. This summer, the world is experiencing higher temperatures, more hurricanes, heavier rains, and more glacial melting since records were kept. Shouldn't these so-called experts question their theory about global warming? None of their predictions have ever come to pass. This, is, this near-perfect test caused by the pandemic shutdown should show some proof of their predictions that are impossible to test otherwise. This is exposing the incompetence of all those so-called experts who have yet to guess right on any of their projections. This pandemic, global warming, systemic racism, poverty issues, gender studies are all showing the futility of this propaganda that is trying to force a solution to a non-existent problem. They are expensive, complicated, confusing, and impossible to verify efficacy. No one would notice any of these problems if it were not hyped by the national media. They are simply looking for more fools to give them more money to find more victims to give them more money. These are self-serving, egocentric, condescending, cowardly acts by incompetent academics and bureaucrats who have never worked in private industry. Their predictions occur far beyond their lifetime and will never have to face the evidence of their incompetence. They would never survive in private industry where consequences are swift as one if, if one is wrong. This is a free country, and anyone can say anything, but it does not guarantee that they must be heard. Sadly, they have the right to publish their predictions and have peers review their work in order to keep this hoax going. They are completely immune from the consequences of flawed projections that cause economies to implode, our liberties compromised, religious freedoms stifled, gender and racial studies promoted, while allowing the abortion of millions of black babies and declaring the United States as racist, greedy, and black lives matter. Animal right activists are now demanding that farmers sedate livestock for normal operations, but want to allow the dismemberment of a full term baby to be ripped apart in the womb of its mother. This is evidence of the intellectual depravity we are seeing from the deep state that want to change America. That will not give us a country in which any intelligent, God-fearing, hard-working individual who believes in God and the rule of law with capitalism would want to live. God bless America. This is Keith Kuby wishing you the best in making the world a better place.